Alright, hello YouTube. So this is going to be a little bit more in-depth tutorial on how to build your first car. I'm going to start with actually building the car and just putting in some little accessories like lights, brake lights, um, anti-brake system, you know, just the general stuff. And I will be using a car engine and a car transmission. So first we're just going to start with a few pipes. I'll just use regular pipes. And if you click on one face, it's going to attach. If I hope you know that already. But um, just hold shift and you can attach multiple ones without having to go and pick up others. So this one I'm thinking about making like a small little box call or something. Just very small. Uh, yeah, there we go. So now we're just going to use the adjust tool. And make it a little bit longer than that. So I'm going to start with the engine just so I can get a feel for how size, how, how big it's going to be. And you want to use these simple parts. You don't want to use the parts that are red like falcon engine or the transmission they just seem a little bit buggy and they don't always work the best so just always use these simple ones so i'm going to use the simple falcon and that's kind of annoying let me go ahead and turn down the audio all right sorry about that uh one moment okay now you just don't even hear it anymore so we're going to attach that right to the back here let's go ahead and put that back face, oop. put that back face right here on the back of here. So now it's the wrong way, so I'm just going to hold alt, find the circle it's on, and turn it around. So there we go, we've got a little bit of room, but I'm also going to want to put a transmission in there. I might just put it right under. So yeah, that sounds like a good idea. To put it right under, I'm just going to grab another pipe. I'm going to hold shift, oop, let me get back here. Hold shift and attach it right there to the bottom. So now I'm going to go and I'm going to spawn in that transmission. And I don't want that bottom face. I want that facing the bottom. So I'm just going to attach this to there. I'm going to want to cycle it around. There we go. Just like that. So now I have more points to put stuff on right there. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to adjust it a little bit. I want it up. I want it centered. I think that's centered. No, nope, that is definitely not centered. All right, so now we're just gonna drag it one click over and a few clicks back. So now that we have a transmission with our engine, we're ready to roll. Except we gotta attach stuff. So I'm just gonna drag this up a little bit. That doesn't really look that realistic, but hey, it's the sandbox game. I get what I want. <laughs> so now I'm gonna spawn in just some wheel hubs and we wanna use the simple wheel hubs, not the other ones. Alright, so let's go ahead and click on that. Oop. Go ahead and click on that face. Hold shift and just put a bunch of them in. There's one thing you have to be careful about. When you get very complex, it's hard to zoom in on small places because the sensitivity is just so high. I mean, you tap W and you move very fast. Alright, so now we're going to want to make sure that those are facing the right way. So we just click on tuner. It'll spawn in all the wheels. Don't worry about their size at the moment. As you can see, some of them, we want all the arrows facing or below the tire or touching the ground per se. So we're just going to go ahead and click this. Now it's touching the ground. We want it on the bottom, not on the top of the tire. Okay, so these are going to be our left wheels. As you can see, the arrows are pointing the wrong way. So we're just going to take our select tool, uh, click on the wheel hub part, and is left wheel. Is left wheel. So now we got that, we're going to probably want to put in a seat now. So to put in a seat, we just go and we spawn a seat. There is only one bucket seat, no simple bucket seat. There we go. Take that. And I want it to be right on the back of that transmission. So we're going to click on the face, if I would ever have the weld tool. All right. Um, all right. So we're going to have to put in a custom part there, just because there really isn't an area for it. I'm just going to want to put that guy right there. Probably going to want to drag this a little bit, just like that. Select our weld tool. We're going to want to put that right there on the back. Um, yeah, right, right there. All right, going to want to circle that around. And we're going to want to adjust it. Drag it back. We want it behind the wheel hub. So like that, we're poking into the engine. We don't really want that. 
So let's go ahead and click on the adjust part right there. And drag the engine out of there. Yeah, about like that. We want to be right there next to the engine. So now we're going to want to find the transmission one that we hooked up and drag it. Oh, that's the chair. Transmission is right there. It's on the side. So the transmission one, we're just going to want to drag that one back too. Uh, yeah, let's have it about right there. All right, so now that we have those, we're going to want to put on some of our accessories. Let's drag in our wheelbase. I want to make a small little car. This might be prone to tipping, but we got a little solution for that. All right, so I think that was 50. This is 50. All right. So let's also make this a little bit smaller. Not 50, but we'll do 60, just so it's a little bit bigger. We're going to make a small little car. All right, there we go. Even though it seems to be the wheels are on the same order. No. How big is this one? 50. And this one is... 70, 60. Oh, it seems like those are in line. Did I do something wrong there? No. Huh. Maybe it's just the way I'm looking at it. Alright. So now, we're going to want to put in some of our accessories. So our accessories are going to include a combine box, a speedometer, a transistor box, and a cycle box. We're also going to want a few toggle boxes. Toggle boxes are for like the lights, the automatic handbrake system. Alright, so let's just start by attaching some of this stuff. We only need one speedometer. And, ah, okay, so here's a little tip. If you want to hide some of those blocks, you find your transmission. You take it and you drag it down a little bit, or out. All right, and you got five prime spots along the top and a few spots in. So basically 15, then two. So you have uh, 17 spots where you can put little accessories. We don't need that many, though. So we're going to start with just the speedometer. I'm not going to hold shift because I only need one speedometer. All right, uh, now we have a, is that the combine box? We only need one of those. So that's going to go right here on the top. All right, now we have a transistor. We only need one of those. It's going to go right along the top, too. And a cycle box. Only need one. And now a toggle box. I think that we need two or three of these. Three of these, I want to say. So hold shift so I can place down multiple. Let's place them right here in the front here. All right. And right there. Okay, so now that we have all those, we can pull this transmission back in and hide it. Just gonna shoot. There we go. Let's drop it down a peg. Well, no. Let's keep it just like that. There we go. We can see a box. Two boxes sticking out the side. That's okay. Alright, so now we're just gonna want to put on some lights. Um, where are our lights? There they are. So, the lights, I'm gonna hold shift. Oops. I'm going to hold shift so I can attach them. I'm going to attach them right at the wheel hubs. So there's one right there, one right there. Not going to get crazy with the lights. These will be our brake lights. Actually, I'll have the brake lights right there. There we go. All right. So now we have those. I'm just going to change up the tires right now. They're actually kind of bothering me a little bit. So I'm going to change up the tires. And I'm going to want to change it to... What kind of wheel do I want? Probably just a... Hmm. They have two monster truck wheels. I haven't used. Oh, that's a nice little wheel. Wonder how small I can make it. So I want it to be about half that. Uh, six point five. Oop. Uh, yeah, that's that's good. Maybe I'll make it a little bit bigger. I'll just shrink in these axles. Okay, so we want that. So now we're gonna want to make this one open wheel, monster truck wheel. Let's keep it on the same kind. So we want this at point five. I also want this one at point five. Oh, wait. Something's not right. 0.5.5. They're the same. Hmm. They just look different. Oh, well, maybe it'll be better when it's done. Alright. So, let's change this one up, too. 
6.5. I will be messing with these a little bit later just because they're a little bit too small for my liking at the moment, but that's all right. So we're gonna wanna chain open wheel, monster truck wheel, open it, and 0.5, 0.5. All right, so now that we have our wheels on it, I'm gonna shrink up the base just a little bit more. This might be prone to tipping. That'll be all right. We can, we have a way of fixing that using a gyroscope. So there, we're gonna to need to crank that in one more. All right. This is gonna to need to be cranked in about 20 each. Oops, all right, 20, there we go. So we got a simple little go-kart looking thing. So now I'm gonna put a gyroscope on it. A gyroscope will basically help me from sliding around or any abnormal movement that might happen. Just cause this car is gonna be quite light. Like let's see how many kilograms it has right now. About 550 kilograms, which is about a thousand pounds. And this car will just slide around with the current physics in the game. So I'm just gonna put that right there on the there. So I can look down and see it if I want. I'll just be able to see it barely spinning, but that's okay. So now we're gonna need batteries for all our lights, our engine, and our gyroscope. I like using two batteries for the gyroscope. And it doesn't really matter. I, I haven't tested yet, but it might be you can use uh, the more batteries you have, the brighter your lights will be. So I'm going to put these batteries. Hmm. Where can I put these? This is why I always have a hard time. I'll put them right here on the seat. One right here, one right here, and one right here. I'll have six batteries just to test how bright I can get the lights. One right here, here, and here. All right, so now that we have six batteries, I don't really like where they're at, so I want to change them. All one 90 degree pitch. Okay, so let's go in here, change these ones now. All right, so now they're all in a line. It looks a little bit better. Uh, we're not too high off the ground. I like that. Our center of gravity is right there in the center of our car. That's very nice. And we have a gyroscope, so that'll keep us from spinning. I'm not sure what else we need to add to this vehicle. Let me go ahead and look through the parts. Um, hmm. We don't need a drive shaft splitter with the simple engines. If we were using the other ones, we definitely would. Let's go ahead and add an exhaust just for some cool effects. Okay, so our exhaust, we that's funny. Um where do we want it? I want it right there in the engine. Okay, so I got a I got a neat little idea for this. Let's go ahead and take this side of it, attach it to right there on the transmission, and take this side of it and attach it attach it to the other side of the transmission. Ah, but that would be it there. Hmm. No problem. We'll just add multiple exhaust on one side. That's okay. I'm usually a guy for symmetry, symmetry, but this is okay. Okay, how did I attach that one? I forgot about it. All right, we'll have three pipes coming outside. Not actually sure if you can adjust those. Yeah, no, you can't. All right, but I want to change their pitch because I don't want them like going through the wheel hub. So I'm just going to hold shift or no, I'm going to hold um, control and I can change their pitch a little bit. All right. So what if I want them just like that? That's, that's great. I like that. They look nice, all staggered and everything. That's pretty good. All right. So that's just a little bit of a effect, not really a boost in performance at all, but it looks cool. All right, so ballast is used for adjusting your center of gravity. We won't be using that in this, but um, it also adds weight. You can adjust it from zero, or I think the lowest it goes is 100 kilograms to 3,000 kilograms. So that's just something to keep in mind if you're having weight issues. And I think that we are good. Yeah. All right, so now we're going to go into the tuner window. There will be quite a bit of stuff because we added a lot. So I uh, like to start with my batteries going up here to the top of the screen because there are six batteries in total, so this is going to take a little bit. <laughs> Alright, there's a few. Alright, so I actually don't like that. That's Alright, so we're going to want to hook these batteries up in series. Series so that we add the volts to each other. We don't want it to go in parallel. Uh, parallel is just when you hook them all, like this power goes to one thing and this power goes to the same thing. It's, uh, we don't really want that for the purpose of this video. So I'm going to take this power and hook it to this one. This one's going to go up to here. It's going to be like one chain. All right. So that chain goes right there. And now we have 60 or 72 volts. Sorry. Uh, the bottom one is the input power and the top one is the power it's going to output. 
So now we can put our gyro disc over here. We want that to accept about 24 volts. And as you can see, this one is outputting 24 volts. So we want that there. And we also we want to check always spin when powered. This will basically just help us from any abnormal movement. Like if you've noticed, if you try to build in a car and it spins around, like you'll just lose control and just start spinning. That's because you don't have a gyroscope or because there's weight issues or both. So now we're just going to pull this toggle box over. We're going to have our lights down here. So the lights will take a little bit. Oh, we're going to have another toggle box. The lights down here. We're going to have another toggle box. A cycle box. Transistor box. A combined box. A speedometer, which can just go up here. I did not put a display in. That's what I forgot. Okay, no worries. So we're going to have our bucket seat over here. Our wheel hubs down here. All right, what is this? This is a rear wheel. This is a front wheel. So I like keeping the rear wheels and front wheels separate, just so I know. And our transmission can stay over here. Falcon engine can go up here. We'll actually put our transmission over here. All right, so now we just have a bunch of parts in front of us. What do we do? Let's start with just activating the engine. So this is going to be activate. I don't want to call it activate. I want to call it start. Oops, start. All right, so when you press X, it'll give a positive value. And I'm not sure if you actually need this, but I do it anyway. So I have your start go into a toggle block. As you can see, I named that funny. <laughs> um, a lot of X's there. All right, so I'll have it go into a toggle block and that toggle box basically just keeps it started. Let me take control for a second. So if you see, I press X and I just press it once and it goes back to zero and it, this keeps it at one. So I want that to be always activated. So if I press X, that'll always be on. And if I depress X, it'll turn off. So we didn't add any fuel also. Can't believe I forgot that one, but that's okay. Let's connect our engine to the drive shaft here and our rear wheels, I'll pull up here. Our rear, wh rear wheels are gonna connect to the drive-ish. <laughs> I'm guessing that's just drive shaft. Um, gonna connect that to that and we don't want these to steer. We want these guys to steer, so let's create a steer option. Uh, this is actually going to be throttle. Let's let's change that. We're not going to do throttle yet. So steer, we're going to want this on a button axis, and we're going to want A and D. So now we're going to have that on steer. I'm just going to drag this over to these wheels and attach them to steer. All right. So now we're going to want to set up our brakes. Brakes are going to be a little bit tricky, but don't worry. So this will be our brake. All right, so our brake is gonna be, let's do just a button on left alt. So left alt and we'll brake. So we're gonna just take that, nope. We're gonna get our cycle box now and our transistor box. Now our cycle box and our transistor box work together. So we're gonna have our cycle go into the input and we're gonna go to our cycle box. We're gonna put always cycle. What it's gonna do is it's gonna change between zero and one, it's gonna go from zero to 0.1 to 0 0.2 or all those little fine decimals in between and that's going to give us a value like this so now we're going to take our trigger and connect that to our brake so now if we press our brake you can see it's going to start outputting those small values we want that <laughs> that's good so that's going to apply a variable brake that's going to change so that we don't just lock up completely this is all in credit to um my friend here, Frowning Lizard, I saw his video, I'll link that in the description, in which he showed off his anti-brake system. I thought it was very, very genius. So we're just going to take those and connect it to there. Oop, that is wrong. We're going to want to take the output of the transistor box. Ah, all right. And attach it to our front ones. However, we don't want to attach it to the back ones yet, because it'll, we want to we want to have an automatic braking system as soon as you spawn the car. That way it doesn't roll off. And that's going to be connected to our start. So we're going to use a toggle box. We're going to have it currently toggled. We're going to connect that toggle box right here. So that when you do press X, it'll turn this off. Now with this toggle box, we're going to want to find our combined box. We're going to have two inputs. Those two inputs are gonna be one from our anti-braking system and one from our toggle box. 
and we're going to want to change this to additive. So as you can see right now, we have a zero output from here. We're not pressing on the brakes at all, but it's going to let us brake. It's going to have those back wheels on the brake. We want that so it doesn't roll away when we spawn or it doesn't drift away. And as you can see, when we turn our engine on, the brakes go off and our vehicle is free to move. However, if we press Alt, we're going to have all these on our anti-brake or anti-lock system. All right. Oh, that got stuck. It's weird. Ah, that's because I shut off the engine. All right. So I think we have those wired. Let's hook up our lights now. Not sure what this toggle box was for. Uh, I guess we did have an extra. Oh, we are missing a few things. We need a fuel tank and we do need the electric switch. So let's go ahead and start with the electric switch. We're going to need two of these. Just find a nice little place to hide them. Um, right there and right there. All right, and we're going to need a fuel tank. We don't really need a big fuel tank. This engine doesn't suck that much gas. So our adjustable fuel tank is right there. We're going to have our fuel tank where? Hmm. Let's put our fuel tank right under, right behind our steering wheel. So that's not the place I want it. So let's go ahead and turn that around. All right, that's not bad. Uh, we can adjust it. I want it a little bit wider. And I'm not sure if I want it thicker. Yeah, that's not bad. It doesn't ruin too much of the car's visual appearance. <laughs> that's okay. That's uh, quite a bit of gas for this little car. Let's go into the tuner. Let's find our gas tank. I like putting that way out here just because we can just attach that right there. So let's also take this and it only needs 12 volts to power. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so now let's uh, go ahead and make a throttle. Ooh, throttle. So we want our throttle to be W. Makes sense. Push W and you go forward. And we want that to go right there. We don't really have to worry about the clutch because it's not on a manual clutch. Now we need a gear system or a method of shifting. So we're going to want to create two of these. One of them will be gear up. And we'll use that for E. You can attach these to any ones you want. Gear down. I'm not sure if I'm typing. There we go. Down. Gear down, I want to be Q. So gear up. I'm going to want that for right there. And gear down, we want for this guy right here. So now if you see, if we press Q, we go into negative gear. And if we press E, we go to a positive gear or a higher gear. One more up. So we're going to want two displays for this. We're going to want one to show our speed from the speedometer. You can change it from kilometers to an hour per hour to miles or to meters. All right, so let's drag this electric switch over. Ah, that's why we needed the toggle, toggle box, box. So the toggle box is gonna be for our front lights. Our front lights, we'll just do FR lights. Oops, lights. And let's have that as activate one. So when we push one, we get a value of one. However, that's not gonna to toggle on these electric switches. So what we need to do is just have this. So we have a constant output. So I just wanna press one and the lights are on rather than just holding one the whole time. So I hook that up to the analog signal. And then from the power, we'll hook up our full um, 72 volts. So our whole 72 volts, these are the light. Oh, okay, no, that's not a front light. That's back light. This is a front light. So our front lights are gonna go right to here. Now you can't see the actual lights light up, but you will see the ground light up if it's dark. Let's move that steering wheel over. All right, so now we're gonna want another one. Make sure you get the plus, not the garbage can. These will be our backlights. Actually, we don't need that. Our backlights are gonna be controlled by our braking. Makes sense. Okay, so we're gonna delete that. We're gonna take brake. And our brake is gonna hook up to this one. 
Now we don't want this one on the toggle box because we want it to be lights shine when we hit alt and lights don't shine when we're not breaking. <laughs> so we're going to have this connected to this light and also this light because those are the back lights. We're going to have that hooked up to this battery up here, 72 volts. All right. Um, the transmission, this one is a little bit annoying. I had to get help from my friend Crazy Lizard Man again. <laughs> So here are the gear ratios he gave me for his buggy. That video will definitely be linked. Uh, 0.14 for gear 1. 0.23 for gear 2. Uh, 0.32 for gear 3. 0.41. And then a 0 0.50 for gear ratio 5. Now our overall gear coefficient, I he changed that to 0.5. You can change it however you want, but I tried doing 0.75 and the car just would not move. You can also change these ones slightly, like I remember changing this one to 0.55 and it might have worked better. But I'm just going to use his default values for this little buggy. Um, I think we're pretty much ready to roll, except we got to set up some displays. Because I want to view my speed and my shift. So from there we're going to take um, just a simple little pipe. We're going to take two of them actually. And we're going to hook it up to our wheel hubs. Right there. And we're going to take two displays. Numeric display. I'm going to drop it. And as you see, the number's on the bottom. So you want to grab the bottom of this. I usually grab the bottom, not the um, back side. The bottom so that I can shift them around. So I'm going to take the bottom. I'm going to attach it right there. And right there. So if I just turn those around for you the right way. And now I use my adjust tool to drag them up. About there is good. Let's drag it back a little bit. So that's 60. All right, let's drag it back. Now pull it up. I think those are symmetric. Oh, this needs to be pulled up one more. There we go. So now as you can see, they're just facing straight back. I don't want that. I want them to be, you know, facing right at me. So I use control. And I do a small little cliff on it. See, that's going the wrong way, so I press Control Shift. And I just rotate it a few degrees. And I hold Control and I press on this one. I think those are the same now. Yeah, they look even. I think. Alright. So now that I have those, I can hook them up in the tuner box. So our number displays are going to be over here. And one right down here. So we want one to display our gear count. Our gear count is going to be right there. That's going to be on the left side. As you can see, it's highlighted. And our speedometer is going to show on this one. Now, this is going to display kilometers per hour, but that's all it's going to give you is a number. So I'm just going to write KPH or KMH, however you want. Okay. Even though that is kind of wrong. I want KM per H. There we go. That's a little bit better. All right, so now that we have that, we need to mess with our wheels. So our wheels have a brake force, which is completely messed up. So um, zero, <laughs> that means we won't brake at all. We want these values really high. So I find for the front wheels, which wheel am I selected on right now? Okay, I'm on the front wheel because I'm not on the driving wheels. Front wheel, I'm gonna put 20,000 brake force for both of them. 20,000. All right. So for the back ones, I'm going to have about 30,000. All right. Now for the friction, I usually put these all at five. I feel five just, it's not too much and not too less, even though that is the maximum number you can input. I don't know, it's pretty weird. This just helps you from sliding around. Let's make sure our gyro disc is powered up. Okay, yeah, so it's spinning. The spinning is going to help us from our, or help us turning. Basically, sometimes when you turn, you'll, your back wheels will come out from behind you and just spin and fly all over the place, and you will lose complete control. The gyro helps us with that. It just helps stabilize our ride. All right, so I want this to say gear. All right, so I think we're about ready to drive. All these are changed to five. However, we got a little bit of aesthetics reasons to change. So I want these back wheels to be thicker. 
So I just go to the wheel scale and I change it by that much. Yeah, that's pretty good. But I also want them to be a little bit bigger. So 0 0.6. There we go. A little bit of meat on the tires. So the wheel scale was 0 0.6 and the thickness was 0.75. Alright, there we go on the wheels. The front wheels are pretty good already. Alright, so let's close. File, exit builder, and save. If you saw there, I just double tapped enter and then tap it again. All right, there we go. So you can see one of my other vehicles right there. So let's just go ahead and drop it down on the bridge. Your first car. All right, look at her. She's beautiful. So now we're gonna just um, come into here. Oh, okay, so we're driving backwards. That's okay, this is a small little glitch that we're trying to work on. So as you can see, we're braked, but we're moving backwards. I'm just going to go ahead and turn on my sound a little bit. Because it seems like if you go past 40, your audio just completely shuts off. There's absolutely nothing. So we're going to have it 55, apply. Alright. So I'm going to go ahead and hit reset. Just so I can go to a flatter surface. Even though this isn't completely flat. Because your car does still roll. Oop. I guess I don't have it selected. Alright. So I'm going to spawn it. Something's pretty odd about this. So I want to be in... Alright, so that's negative gear. First gear is neutral. Alright. So we fly backwards. That's... I mean, I like the speed and all, but... It's not really what I want. I don't want to go backwards. I wonder if this happens with... Um... Let's try and just change our gear all the way up. Alright, so we have insane acceleration. However, that's not what we want. <laughs> we want to drive forward. I don't know what's going on with this thing. And there she goes. Wow, she's zipping. Build. One last project. Let's see what we did wrong. If we did do anything wrong. I mean, I don't get it. <laughs> it shouldn't drive backwards like that. Hmm. It's odd. Maybe it's because the way the wheels are positioned. No. Let me try and... Oh, no, it still shouldn't take off like that. Let me look. So we activate that. Nothing's spinning until we actually push W. So it's just a small little glitch. Let's uh, go ahead and lock our camera. Alright, so we gotta shift up. Shift up again, shift up. Yeah, see, they're all driving forward. That doesn't make sense why it's doing that. Exit builder. Let's go ahead and uh, see what we can do. So this is making sense. See, if this wasn't just a tutorial car, I would definitely uh, made it look a little bit nicer. I'm going to spawn a different one. There we go. Alright, so it's driving backwards. Don't like that. Kind of feels like it's in gear. Yeah, and as soon as I start, it just goes backwards. Alright, well that's not really good. <laughs> I don't get it. Alright, well I will get back to you guys with a fix to this. But one thing if you, uh, well you can't notice, but um, let me show you. What I did here is... I'm pressing A right now, and A is I want to shift left, or steer left, but it's inverted. So all I do is I go into the tuner menu, build, open last project. If you ever find your stuff is inverted like that, you just go to window, tuner. Alright, and then we find our steering, D and A, and we just switch these. So this is going to be D, this is going to be A. There we go, so now if we lock the camera, A is going to be to the left and D is to the right. Now you can mess with how much you steer by the steering coefficient. Hmm. I'm going to change the friction. Let's change the friction to like 1, the vertical friction. Let's see if that helps. 1, they're all 1 now. Oh, this one's 5. I'm going to change that to 1 also. I don't even know if it'll go to negative. Yeah, no, it lets me go as low as 0.1. Exit builder. Very odd. 
all the arrows are pointing the right way. Hmm. Alright, so let's go ahead and reset ourselves. Let's go ahead and select this car. And let's drop her. Alright. Alright, she doesn't appear to be. She is moving back now. Let's uh, cross our fingers. Awesome, she isn't moving. So maybe it was just because the vertical friction. There's a little bug there. Uh, let's see if she'll move. Oh, and she moves forward. We got a shift because. Uh, Sorry about the gear ratios not being perfect. I mean, this game is still an alpha, and they do say to stay away from car engines and stuff like that. They're just not working that well. But as you can see, it's a nice little car that drives. Um, 120. You can adjust that, and you can get it faster. However, it's just a nice little car. You get to tinker with it. As you can see, we're drawing black lines. Not too sure why. That just might be the tires. But I don't think our brakes are on at all. If we hold F1, we can see all our controls. So let's turn on our front lights with one. There we go, we got a nice little bright light. Um, one thing we can also do here, let's hold Alt and that will brake. Alright, as you can see we have our brake lights on. So sometimes when you're building or just driving around, it'll be very dark at night and you just be like, I don't want to see that. For some reason we're driving backwards right now. Um, <laughs> anyways, and you won't want to see that. So what you're going to have to do is go to your settings, gameplay, and change the hour here. I don't really know what this real time means. I think that just speeds up the world. Um, and you're going to want to change that. I want it to be dark. So I'm going to go at about, this is military time. So let's just go to midnight, 12 o'clock, or 24 hours. So now it's very dark. And I can get back in my vehicle, which is all the way over there for some reason. All right, so let's go ahead and start up. And as you can see, I want to turn my lights on. There we go. So you can put your lights higher. Obviously for a wider range or whatnot. Just however you feel you want your car to look. If we go into third person and we press alt, we have our brake lights. So now I can't wait for multiplayer. I feel like this game will be a lot of fun and there will be some mini games added in like maybe vehicle tag or something like that. But if you um, have any questions or anything like that, you can message me on Steam. I have the same name on Steam as I do on YouTube. Or you can just place your comments below. Please remember to like and subscribe.